Heartrending moment Queen's coffin is lowered into vault at Windsor to reunite with Philip. The Queen's coffin was lowered into the royal vault, alongside her late husband, Prince Philip, during a committal service in Windsor Castle this afternoon. Queen Elizabeth II's coffin has made its final journey and the late monarch will be buried next to her beloved husband of 73 years, Prince Philip, in the King George VI Memorial Chapel, Windsor. Tens of thousands of people lined the route through central London as the late sovereign was transported to Windsor Castle this afternoon, ahead of the committal service which took place at 4 p.m. The Queen will be laid to rest in the King George VI Memorial Chapel during a third and final service, expected to take place at 7.30 p.m. after making the long journey from Buckingham Palace by car this afternoon. At the committal service's conclusion, the Queen's coffin was lowered into the royal vault, the resting place of many past monarchs and where Prince Philip's body currently lays. While the Queen's coffin was lowered into the vault, the Dean of Windsor said a psalm, before the Garter King of the Arms pronounced the styles and titles of the Queen. But the vault is not her final resting place as she will be relocated to the King George VI Memorial Chapel, on Monday evening. The emotional ceremony will be attended by the Queen's closest family and friends. During the service, the longest training British monarch will be reunited with her husband of 73 years, Prince Philip. Following his death in April last year, the Duke of Edinburgh was temporarily laid to rest in the royal vault underneath the chapel on the grounds of Windsor Castle. However, he is now set to be moved to his final resting place alongside his beloved wife. Other members of the Queen's family, including her mother and father, and the ashes of her sister, Princess Margaret, are also buried in the chapel. Before she is laid to rest during the intimate and somber service, a committal service, the second of the day, was carried when the Queen's body arrived at St. George's Chapel earlier this afternoon. A smaller congregation of 800 attended the service, with proceedings conducted by David Connor, the Dean of Windsor. People in attendance at the service were those with close official and intimate links to the royal family, including royal staff members past and present. The third and final service, a private untelevised interment, is when the late monarch will be laid to rest in the King George VI Memorial Chapel. Although the chapel is closed for the private ceremony, ordinarily it is open to the public, meaning members of the public can visit the Queen's final resting place to pay their respects. The procession taking the late sovereign to Windsor set off for Wellington Arch at around 1 p.m. this afternoon. King Charles III led the procession, followed by the other children of the Queen as well as Prince Harry and Prince William. The Queen's coffin was carried on the state gun carriage and made its way through Parliament Street, Whitehall, and Horse Guards. As the procession passed by the Cenotaph, members of the British Armed Forces as well as senior royals paid tribute to the fallen with a salute. After arriving at Wellington Arch, the cortege stopped to allow the bearer party to transfer the coffin from the state gun carriage to the state hearse. Throughout the 22-mile-long route to Windsor, thousands of members of the public lined the streets to honor the late monarch and catch a glimpse of the procession.
action taking the late sovereign to Windsor set off for Wellington Arch at around 1 p.m. this afternoon. King Charles III led the procession, followed by the other children of the Queen as well as Prince Harry and Prince William. The Queen's coffin was carried on the state gun carriage and made its way through Parliament Street, Whitehall, and Horse Guards. As the procession passed by the Cenotaph, members of the British Armed Forces as well as senior royals paid tribute to the fallen with a salute. After arriving at Wellington Arch, the cortege stopped to allow the bearer party to transfer the coffin from the state gun carriage to the state hearse. Throughout the 22-mile-long route to Windsor, thousands of members of the public lined the streets to honor the late monarch and catch a glimpse of the procession.